What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I want to have a conversation again about our favorite mayor in the world, Tiffany Henry. And Tiffany Henry is a person who is so unsuccessful in the private sector. She's never done anything right for herself. She tried to start a business in 2016. Of course, it failed. So, you know, when you can't work and you don't have any skills and, and listen to her, she can barely read and write. So, uh, uh, of course, an individual like that, you know, that person is, is not going to be able to do something. So the way that they feel they can get their money is to go into politics. So that, that happens all over the world. If you really want to be a loser or a user, get into politics, get famous. Hopefully you steal some money, especially in the third world, then everything will be okay. This is what Henry did. Became a trustee, turned on people, maneuvered people. Okay. And then after she maneuvered folk, then what happened was she basically became the mayor, then started spending the town's money. Now, once receiving the town's money, she figured out, you know what? I need more money. <laughs> I need more money. I already got a position as Thornton Township Supervisor. I'm getting 200,000 from that. Then I'm getting $50,000 as, as the mayor. I need more money because I need more trips because I'm never ever gonna have an opportunity to make any more money because, well, I'm a crook. So the best thing that I can do is steal. How can I steal? I can raise taxes. I can raise taxes. Now, she tried that in Dalton, trying to raise a property tax that was not filling it, okay? They didn't understand what the money's gonna be used for. Let's play that clip. With the burden of high property taxes already weighing on the residents of Dalton, one would expect the mayor to strive to alleviate this strain. Unfortunately, that's not the case. In an email from village administrator Keith Freeman to the board of trustees, they are proposing a staggering 4.99% increase in taxes. With the requested 4.99% increase, with the requested 4.99% increase. Yes, you heard it right. The mayor, the village administrator, trustee Stan Brown, and trustee Andrew Holmes are advocating for raising your taxes. Thanks to the majority of the board of trustees, led by senior trustee Jason House, a special board meeting was convened. They voted against raising Dalton residents' property taxes. I mean, from what I read and what I received, that um, yesterday's meeting would have asked us to vote on a 4.99% increase, meaning increasing our taxes. And today, we are not in support of that. So that was in Dalton, but she's gonna try the same thing with a Thornton Township, which is like 17 counties into one, and she happens to be supervisor. She's gonna try to get some more property taxes raised. Check out the clip. We want some openness about what's being done, and that's not what we got. South suburban mayors are urging their constituents to vote against a proposed property tax increase. That increase would put nearly $3 million in new spending in Tiffany Hinyard's hands. The referendum on next week's ballot says the money would go for mental health services, but the mayors say they have no idea where it's going. Fox 32's Dane Placco has the story. How many of the villages do you think are opposed to this? The majority of them. All of them. All of them. All the ones that signed. The mayors of Markham, Homewood, and East Hazelcrest are among 11 South Suburban mayors, plus a state senator and county commissioner, who signed a letter urging their constituents to vote no to giving Thornton Township more money. The everyday residents just don't want to see their taxes go up. And if they do, they want to know why. It comes in the form of a referendum question on next week's primary ballot that asks taxpayers whether they support a 0.15% property tax increase for the township for purposes of providing community mental health facilities for the person with a developmental disability or substance use disorder. 
If approved, it would raise nearly $3 million in new taxes, roughly $132 a year for a home worth $300,000. But the mayor say they're reluctant to give Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard what they say essentially amounts to a blank check. How much money is going to actually be generated? Where's the mental health facility going to go and what actually are they going to do? She's never communicated to any mayor that I'm aware of. And that's really our concerns is, you know, what is she going to do with this pot of money that she's going to get? And they point to our reporting on Henyard spending, both as township supervisor and as the mayor of Dalton, including thousands of dollars for trips out of town, using police for a personal security detail hundreds of thousands of dollars of credit card charges and public tax dollars funneled into a charity in Henyard's name. I just see waste and it's waste upon waste upon waste and and thankfully your stories bring it all out. And those white mayors are saying hell no. Oh no. Don't do it. Don't let her do it. Whatever you do don't do it because we don't have any ability to know where that money is coming from. She, she tried it with the blacks in Dalton. They said, hell no. She didn't talk to any of them. She thinks somebody crazy. So give her $3 million so she can have access to the funds to do what? To try to set herself up when she will no longer be in the position. That's what she wants to do. It's very common with politicians. Let me steal all that I can before I get out of the position because I'll never be in politics again. And she's right. That's why she's trying to start a YouTube channel. That's the only thing you're going to be able to do after this. So these white mayors are saying they're telling their towns, hell no, vote no. Now you're seeing white folks and black folks get along <laughs> when it comes to Henyard. It could never happen. And let me just tell you this. The thing about narcissists, and I have noticed that even living overseas, especially on the continent of Africa. I had a problem with that before I was talking to uh, this particular brother. I won't tell you the country. I said, man, people in this particular country think Americans are stupid. He said, you're wrong. This individual group thinks everybody is stupid. Even their own people think everybody is stupid. You know who thinks everybody is stupid? A narcissist, a sociopath. They're the ones that think that nobody understands what they're trying to do. And then if you try to somehow stop them from that, they want to start punishing you. You ever hear us? You ever see a scammer get mad or somebody borrow some money? They don't want to pay it back. All of a sudden, they got an attitude. How dare you ask for your money back? Right? That's the attitude towards you. Why? That's what scammers do. That's what liars do. How dare you have an attitude about the money that I owe you? How dare you have an attitude about the money I'm trying to steal from your ass? How dare? Who do you think you are? Yeah, and trying to make you feel, man, this one dude, I don't even want to tell you what country it was, brother, but I was I was, I was, was out here in Africa, right? It was a dusty, this is one of the dustiest niggas ever, man. Sent this dude, I, I know it's going to be funny, I might even want to talk about it, $1,700. So, the dude had did some good stuff for me before, so I, I did it this time. Why I did it, I don't know. Brothers, I don't know. I don't even like talking about it, man, because it's, it's a lot of money. So, get it, get it, for the money. Then when it, then the bro had an audacity to try and ask me for some more stuff, like to do something work from him, right? I'm like, man, what happened to the other thing? Well, oh, 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 wow, 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 wow. I said, bro, I know you ain't got no attitude. Wow, 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 wow. You want your money back? I say, I just say, but what, bro? If I could have slapped the fire out of that, I swear. Bless God and the, uh, let, let bless God and the Holy Ghost. If I could slap him, if I could slap him, Jesus, all I needed was just one. That Negro had me so upset. I mean, my blood pressure was all out of this world, Jesus. And I'm thinking the nerd, the unmitigated gall. He thought somebody was stupid. Now I don't know where that is. Even the government folks are looking for him. Why? He thinks somebody is dumb. He thinks somebody is stupid. And to be so many people like that, they be thinking that somebody is dumb, somebody is stupid, somebody don't know what they're talking about. And you sit there and you and you sit there idly by with the with girls. And you'd be like, damn, bro, is it really that serious? Like you really think that somebody is that dumb? And the answer is, yeah, they do think you're that dumb. They think that. <laughs>
is there's no doubt there's no question about that they feel you're that stupid and tiffany hingard feels that folk is that stupid so guys what do you think you should watch it d jackson back at it again another episode of celebrity drunk put your fire you subscribe to the bell we're out Thank you.